Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video episode of Shout Me Loud. I'm your host Harsh Agarwal, and today's video is for all the WordPress users. Today, I'm going to teach you an amazing trick that many of you are going to love it. So here is here is what it is. Let me show you first, and then we'll get into the tutorial part. All right. So this is how this all started. The backstory. Think passively with a strategy, but and if you don't like this voice, well, we have another one. Every one of us wants to create wealth, and most of us understand that the foundation of creating. And if you want a different voice, want to learn about something very important. Here we go. This is so crucial. So this is called text to speech, and it is becoming very popular. And I was wondering for a long time how can I integrate on my website. Now I found many solutions. Some of them were paid. Some of them were too tough to configure. And recently I bumped into. this one AWS for WordPress and it's a plugin by it Amazon and developed by AWS and WP engine together so thanks guys now what it does is it let you convert your blog article into audio and not just that you can actually publish those file as a podcast on iTunes or Google podcast you know that and there is like lot of things great things you can do But for this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can convert your article into audio. Now, this few thing that you should know that this is a paid solution, but do they they do have a free tier, which is going to be very okay for most of the bloggers. It includes about five million characters per month for speech for the first twelve months, and then after twelve months, you need to pay for you know for 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 the services. Well, as the free tiers include one one million. and then there is neural voices which sounds more natural i'll show you the show you that in a moment so initially the free tier is there for one year and then after that you know they have a pricing which is pay as you go model now depending upon your website size it could cost you something i'm honestly i'm not sure at this moment how much it's going to cost but for the first one year it's going to be free and it's a good time to try this out All right so let's go ahead and let's understand how this will work. So the very first thing you need to do is you need to go sign up for aws.amazon.com you can sign up using your amazon account uh, you can log in using your amazon account and once you are inside aws management console which will look something like this here search for iam all right um right and i already have few users let's create few a uh, new users okay so let's click on a user and then click on add user click that give a username like tenhars poly so usually you can give your domain name slash poly poly is the name of the plugin or you know that's, that's what it is called then enable the pragmatic access click on next permission now here just select the attach existing policies directory directly and search for wordpress select this and then click on next tags skip this part by clicking on review and then click on create user right so here is the access key id and the secret access key now you can also download the csv file for further usage or you can simply copy this key id and access key on your you know evernote or google doc whatever you use for note keeping but make sure that you copy this and save it because once it's gone you would not be able to you know get it you need to create a new user so just to save time anyways so once you have this after this everything is very simple and easy here is what you need to do on your wordpress website go to plugins click on add new plugin search for aws plugin and click on install now this is the plugin developed by aws labs and wp engine now click on activate all right so once it's done go to aws general now here you need to paste your access key and a secret key let's let's do that Now you have option to select the AWS region. Now depending if your audience are coming mostly from India or you know Europe, you need to select the location which is closest to you. However, there is some keyword like you know some of the features like uh, like conversation style and others are available only for certain region like North Virginia and some of the US region only. So just for the ease of this guide, I'm using selecting the US East. But if you are from India, you can simply select you know uh, Asia Pacific, Mumbai or Singapore. or anywhere else depending on your region either way so click on save changes now once it's done click on text to speech 
and here you need to select this click on save changes now here are a few settings that you need to configure so one of them is source language so in this case it's english the text to speech support is enabled the voice name now this is very important like what kind of voice name that you want do you want so there are different voices unfortunately i haven't found any link where i can show you the example but you know here here we go like so if you're from india india they have two option uh, let me let me show you that so india have two option india english aditi and ravina i think this one is aditi well it is smart in you no know, when to get out of a particular mutual fund and this one is by ravina Without knowing the outcome since then i have spent countless hours talking but if you want you know uh, if you want to hear matthew voice this is how matthew sounds like so because you may be giving your user a bad browsing experience without even knowing it this article is for anyone who has recently changed or edited their wordpress theme. i hope you get get a, get an idea like you know you can actually try this and pick a voice which actually resonate with you and you also have option to select the voice based on specific article so let's say if you have, if you have an article which is very popular in us or very popular in europe you can actually optimize you know you can select the voice which sounds very familiar to that particular region how cool is that all right so in this case i'm going to go with joanna and then i'm going to enable neural text to speech so once it's done we'll stick with the sample rate click on automated breath it's all cool audio speed so so you can decide where do you want player to be positioned like before post after post or if you just want to convert your blog into a podcast you know you can actually disable this and then use the podcast feature over here which i'll be talking about in a quick bit so anyways we'll select the before post and add a label this and as audio so now here is one thing which you should know like once you enable this plugin it does not automatically convert your old blog post but you can set it to enable the amazon poly feature for all new article right this is what it says or you can disable it and select enable it you know case by case basis i usually prefer keeping it disabled uh you can enable the auto play if you like uh, which is very annoying by the way uh now add post title disable this option disable this option if you like to skip particular tag on your website for from the conversion you can do that if you want to enable audio download you can do that uh, all right disable this one and pretty much that's it now click on save changes and before we move ahead there's just one last setting i want you to pay attention to and that is once you enable the neural text to speech you have an option to select if you want you know a uh, article to be spoken in a newscaster style or a conversational style so if you are running a news website you can select the newscaster style or if you are running a blog you know you can select the conversational style this is what usually i use and all right so let's let me show you how it works so here like go to the bottom of the post and you will get this option call you know you'll see this option enable text to speech let's select that voice name is here and yep let's do this and then hit the update button now once it's done it will take about 1 to 2 minutes for this plugin to you know uh, generate the audio file and once it's done all right come on show up all right so here it is now uh, it may take one minute so we'll just wait for that meanwhile i'll show you the other part of this plugin and that's translate podcast alexa integration and cloudfront um uh, you know some of them are very relevant and some some of them may not be so i'm not sure about the translate feature this is what i have to check out but the podcast feature is pretty cool so let me just quickly show you what it does it's so the polycast uh so when you enable it it automatically creates uh you know a podcast link for your blog content and which is pretty cool like especially if you're looking to start a podcast and have not done that because you don't like speaking you know it's a good chance you can convert your blog into a podcast and publish it on Google podcast or iTunes people may like it all right so once it's done click on save changes
And then there is CloudFront CDN. Now, personally, I use uh, CloudFlare, which offers free CDN, so I don't need it. But if you're looking to integrate CDN, you know, like this plugin could be of really help. So anyways, moving back to why we started. All right, let's listen to this. There are only 52 weeks in a year. And even if we live a life for 70 years, it would be only... I believe in quality over quantity. Let's see how this plays out in 2020. Well, it's just good to reflect upon your last 52 weeks and then have a direction for the next 50. I think it's pretty awesome, right? What do you guys think? So, you know, that's how you actually integrate, uh, convert your blog into speech. You can use that for your website. You can also offer this as a service to other, you know, bloggers who may not know about and I know a lot of people are looking for this kind of solution because it gives a lot of benefits. Number one, it gives a new way for users to listen to the content. Uh, they can listen to the content even while they are driving. Uh, it also improves the average time spent on your website, which is pretty awesome and which is a good signal for the search engine as well. And overall, it gives good user experience. Now, all things said and done, one thing which I really miss right now about this plugin is it does not offer any kind of analytics, which I believe is quite important. Maybe someday we will see some somebody developing a plugin or an add-on for this uh, Amazon AWS, which shows us the analytic for this. Or maybe WB Engine, guys, if you're watching this, you know, you can develop uh, you can enhance this plugin to add more statistic. Either way, guys, uh, that's how you convert your article into audio. There's a plugin AWS for WordPress. I hope you like this video. Do let others know about this plugin. You know, it might help them to integrate, to offer more features to their users. I'll leave all the link in the description, whichever you need to check, like for example, the pricing page, the plugin page, and the sample page. And if you have any other question, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. This is Harsh.